there are certainly uh, some violent images being shared from OSINT, OSINTers, I should say, that have on Twitter have caught me by surprise. I'm like, oh, I wasn't, I wasn't ready to see that right there. But what are your thoughts on just the ethics of kind of sharing that type of information via Twitter, via, via the public internet? Yeah, so that's, it, it, it is a really important debate, I think, to have. Um, early in the war, I was sharing a lot more of that just because the impact of the Russian invasion on Ukrainian civilians was just, you couldn't ignore it. It was, right. it was so up and center. And back then, I really did see the deep importance of sharing that content. These most social media services offer the opportunity to properly tag and mark this content as sensitive. I think that is important to do. You know, it's something that I shared back then. I have no regrets sharing it. Um, And I I really do think it, it, it helped shape the narrative around what was happening and probably will be used in the future um, to, you know, attempt to prosecute individuals who, who committed these crimes. And I think establishing sort of a, a public record of that was essential. Today, though, it does seem like a large amount of the content, at least the, the super violent content, is restricted to a military environment. Now, that doesn't excuse obvious right. war crimes, um, especially ones committed by Wagner units. Um, those, there, there have been a number committed, and I, I think at the same time, there is the same impetus to share those just, just as a record um, and, and as a communication of what is actually happening um, because it is, is, it is an affront to the laws of war. Um, Whereas I think some of the other content that's shared that's just gratuitous in nature um, from mm-hmm. the front lines, you know, there there is an argument to be made to share that. Personally, I don't share it because of personal beliefs I have um, mm-hmm. related to more direct conventional military engagements where it's clear that the laws of war are being followed and necessarily filming that is is a sensitive topic or, or at least sharing footage generated from there but a lot of that it comes down to personal opinion of the of the originator I, I do think it is important it is incredibly necessary to properly track and mark the content um mm-hmm. that that you're posting and making sure that you aren't just you know throwing out what are effectively you know snuff films onto your you know just feed uncensored or or in a nature where someone could just stumble across it um you know twitter early on was a bit better in forcibly marking the content and that's fallen Mm -hmm. off um they used to be a bit more aggressive in making sure that if you didn't self-select they were going to make sure that there was at least a content warning. They wouldn't censor it. They wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't take it down. They just ensure that, that there was, there was proper content marking. Um, But that, that's, that's mostly gone away now. And and so, yeah, it it is, it is definitely a very complex area right now. I mean, there, it is important to document the truth of what's happening, right? You can't, um, the world isn't perfect, right? We don't live in bubble wrap. Um, this is real raw stuff that is happening. And I think it's important for people to see that, know that and understand that it's real. But at the same time, they should have like some way to opt out of it. 